Three, two, one. Hey, <laughs> I found this. To my friends out there who are Rubik, Rubik's, what do you call it? Cubists? Cube masters. <laughs> Cube solvers. <laughs> Cubists. <laughs> Is that what they're called? Cubism. John, Emily, maybe Jen. <laughs> if you like playing with Rubik's Cubes, check this out. It says you have to fight the fade as you solve the Rubik's Phantom because it's a heat sensitive cube. It sounds cool. It looks cool. I mean, we're gonna, we're gonna find out really how cool this is. Touch, reveal, solve. Reveal the phantom's colors with the heat of your touch and then solve the cube before it fades to black. Let's see if we can do this. Remember this one? This one was very difficult because it's a lenticular cube. I've also got a video about this one. I'll link at the end, you can watch. But this cube was the last one I got and it was very complicated because the colors just look different depending on what angle you look at it. Okay. Do I need to cut this open? It's got little tabs on the side. Oh, look at that. <laughs> The Phantom Menace. That side's red. Oh, look at that. Yellow. Orange. White. Green. Blue. Now the test. Okay. Oh, look, that's easy. We'll see if it's easy. Okay. What you should do is have somebody mix it up, wait for the colors to all fade, and then try to solve it. Okay. Mix it up, cameraman. Okay. We gave it roughly 15 minutes to cool down. <laughs> we gave it 15 minutes to sit and think about what it's done. <laughs> So now it is sort of back to black, but I mean, I can still see yellow right here. And I think these shades up here, they look a little orange or red. So I don't know. This doesn't feel like it's going to be that difficult. What we should do is we should time how long it takes you to do it compared to how long it takes you to solve a regular cube. Okay. So I'll get a timer going on my phone. We're going to be using Google stopwatch for this. <laughs> Go. Okay, so I can already see this yellow. And then you hit top. stop whenever you're done. That's. Okay, we've got yellow. Green. It is very, very flexible. Look at me, look at that. <laughs> it is not hard to turn like my ancient one. Back from the 80s, I was uh, I was seven years old when my dad gave me my first Rubik's Cube. And uh, I had been trying to solve it for a good, I think, 20 years. I think it took me 20 years to finally figure it out. And I had to wait for the internet to arrive because eventually I was in my office one day and I thought, you know what, why can't I just solve this last move here? And so I Googled it. What do I need to do to 
be able to get my cube back to solid colors. And there were a couple of moves I was missing and I finally figured them out. And it only took me a little over 20 years to do that. So for me, it's mostly about just being able to solve it. I'm just happy I can solve it. It's not really about speed. But it took me What's happening? <laughs> oh, you let my phone turn off. Put in the code! <laughs> ah, the wrong code! <laughs> okay. It probably took me, let's say... Mine is like 10 seconds from that. Yeah. 2 minutes 24. And it's solved. Mm. And see, now it's not... I mean pretty obvious which is which yeah and now and it takes a long time for them to become like cloudy black again it does it does take a long time for them to go back to black so I mean, and look how look how look how quick this spins I know John is gonna love this so let's say once it's like that I mean, this is pretty easy. Let's see if I can solve it any quicker, even though I know I have a difficult time with cubes that are this quick. Okay, I'll just time this one. Ready? Okay. Yeah. Set. Go. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. I'm already having issues. It's going to be like that episode of Spongebob where he can't drive without a blindfold. <laughs> you can't drive a boat with a blindfold on. That's illegal. <laughs> but I can't do it without a blindfold. Drive, boy. Drive. But I can't drive without a blindfold on. <laughs> oh, gosh. See, I'm already in... Distracted and confused. <laughs> Tell my wife I love her. <laughs> Come, kids. <laughs> it's like the best character of the whole series. I know, I love the shark. Oh, shoot, I think I did that wrong. Oh, shoot. Yellow, where is it? <laughs> See how flexible this thing is? It makes it difficult for me. I'm kind of used to the one that turns a little more solid and doesn't just fly all over the place. But I have a feeling John is going to love this kind of cube. It doesn't fly all over the place. Um, Yeah. That's probably, I think it was way longer. Wow, really? Wow. But that means it being black only slowed you down by like 32 seconds. Yeah, I mean, and it wasn't completely, look at it now. I mean, it's like a regular cube right now. Yeah. Like even when we had it sitting here, it didn't take long for the colors to come, yeah. become visible. Final thoughts. This is a great cube. I love it. It's very movable. Man, this thing spins fast. And when I say spins fast, you know what? Let's. You know, like the prehistoric cube? The cube that's been here since the beginning. We've got to move the boom guy. We've got to move that prehistoric M&M, &M. and we've got to move the ancient <laughs> R2-D2 Cheeto back here. <laughs> it's, it's not even a Cheeto, it's, a, it's like an R2-D2 cracker. <laughs> <laughs> you 
If you want to see where this came from, I'll link the video at the end of this video. <laughs> It's still there. Okay, so behind that, we have this cube that's been here since the beginning. Now, you want to have an appreciation for what this cube can do. Okay, look, with one finger, I'm spinning this around. See that? And just look at it. It's like the way this moves, it's, it's loose. It's very loose and it spins well. This one. Okay, it's not going anywhere with one finger. And I'm putting maximum pressure on there. <laughs> See, also, the, the stickers are dilapidated. They're just... <laughs> they're disintegrating. They're, they're falling off. <laughs> yeah, good luck solving this cube in like a minute and a half. <laughs> <laughs> okay so now you could have this and as you can see by the sticker this is an official rubik's cube but back in the day they didn't believe in speed cubing this was more about take your time take your time cubing just learn oh it sounds awful <laughs> just learn how to solve the colors don't worry about time just worry about solving the colors it's such a relaxing toy i have one on my desk at work and it's just nice it just it relaxes my brain this one to me is more difficult because just that one is freaking asinine oh <laughs> just turning it the color changes from red to blue that cube is ridiculous from white to yellow it's just <laughs> it's very difficult <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. If it was like the second you took your finger away, it only took like three more seconds to go to black, that would be like yeah, a little bit more difficult. Right. But no, the fact that it takes like 15 minutes just to fade mostly away, not even completely. Mm -hmm. This is a solid 10 out of 10 toy for me. Awesome Rubik's Cube, and I'm happy to have it in my collection now. I do have a wide variety of cubes. Isn't the black hole cube like messed up? This one? Yeah. Yeah, I think there is something messed up with it. These two are like, for some reason, out of place. If I was just to like, take this and go like that. Okay, now I have basically this side solved and then I want to get these other ones where they're supposed to be. So I would match that up. Okay, so then this one has to be green and purple. And this one should be blue and purple. And this one doesn't turn very easy. I mean, it turns easier than this one, but. <laughs> That's not a very high bar. <laughs> Okay, so we've got those, and now we need to make sure that we get the Turns corners right. My ancient cube that was carved out of sandstone <laughs> in the, like 800 BC. <laughs> See, so now we've got to we've got to swap these corners around. So we do this. Okay, now we have to because that's there. I believe we do it like that. I mean, this is a challenge because the middle is missing. But I think you do this. Okay, and then, okay, then we go like that. Okay, now we're here. Ah, see, this one catches. 
it's not as loose as okay here we are this should be it I just wasn't, I wasn't spinning something properly. <laughs> okay, we got to solve two cubes in this video. <laughs> How is that possible? Okay, I was just being stupid. I somewhere, I didn't turn something properly, but that's because the middle is missing. It does make it a little more complicated. But I like that one too. I like all my cubes. This one is... This one's a good, a good one to have. I'm glad it's in my collection now. Found it at Walmart if you're interested. If you liked it, like it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. 20 minute outro, boom. It was probably good that we solved that one anyway. Cause now we got to see that one fade ever so slowly. Like the last couple minutes, you can see it kind of is not as bright. Right, right. Yeah, see, look. That's cool. I like that cube.